What's up guys, Moshe Kanaka with Krav Maga Fight Tips from Israel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the horrific attack in the school where basically 19 children were killed and two teachers um, and what we could learn from this, this event. Now, um, me specifically as a first responder myself in my community, in my area around here in uh, the mountains of Judea and as someone that teaches first response teams on a daily basis, uh, also special forces and also civilian first response teams. Um, so I want to I wanna share my thoughts with you guys and what we could learn from this uh, very, very uh, hard, horrific um, attack to try to, with God's help, prevent these attacks uh, in the first place and if God forbid they happen, to minimize the damage as soon as possible. Basically, what we see in the video, what, what happened is um, this crazy person, when he turns, he starts buying, uh, buying uh, ammo, buying um, different uh, weapon accessories. When he turns 18, he buys a rifle. Um, I think it was like seven days after, I think. Um, he shoots his grandmother in the head jumps on the car towards the school, crashes the car, jumps out of the, the car and starts shooting peop uh, towards people that are right outside the school. Um, meanwhile, one of the teachers sees that she runs in the school. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't lock the door. She thought that the, the door would lock itself. Um, she calls 911 and um, this attacker starts shooting towards the school and in the in the hallway of the school um, four minutes pass uh, he, he goes into a classroom starts shooting um, I think like four minutes fast passed and four police uh, first responders uh, arrive at the scene they start going towards the attacker he starts shooting at them and they run away they stay um, in their spots and they don't go forward. All what I'm saying is I'm not judging anyone. Um, uh, I wasn't there, okay? I'm only so we could learn for the future. Um, now, they were staying in their, in their place. It took 77 minutes to, to eliminate this crazy person while kids were bleeding to death in the classroom. Um, including one policeman got a phone call from his wife that was in the classroom that was shot that she was a teacher in the school and she told him listen come help me I'm, I'm, I'm shot I'm bleeding and unfortunately they didn't go in now as a first as a first responder myself and as someone that teaches first respond teams like I told you guys um, this is uh, it's against all what we what we train for all what we're, what a first responder is all about um, one of the principles that I teach I make sure every first responder that goes under my hands um, he understands that in in a situation like this in a school shooting God forbid in a in a um, mass shooting the one of the most important principles is, is the time uh, factor, where every second is critical. It's not like you're in Iraq or in Afghanistan that you have time, okay, uh, air, air strike and uh, mortars, and then we'll go, come around and we'll take our time and things like that. In a situation where there's a terrorist or this crazy shooter inside a school, we have no time for these things, no time. You have to go right to the attacker and, and take him out as soon as possible because every second is critical. In Israel, there was an event where um, my friend told me he's the head of security in Kiryat Arba. That's right near Hebron where our forefathers um, were buried. Abraham, Isaac, uh, Jacob, um, and more. And... Um, Unfortunately, they got a call on. A, there was a terrorist that jumped over the gate. They they rushed to the to the spot. They thought everything was okay. They started searching, and and they they hear a gunshot from uh, from a house. They go into the house, and unfortunately, they missed the terrorist 
45, uh, 54 seconds, they missed the terrorist that slaughtered uh, Halela Riel. Um, remember, should rest in peace. Um, this terrorist came into her house, started sleeping, and he stabbed her with a knife many, many times. Um, one of the first responders, he, he, the, they were searching the house. One of the, the ter they thought he was in one room. He jumped at them from the other room. Um, one of the first responders shot him, but the bullet went through and hit another guy in the eye. And unfortunately, he can't see until this day, and they managed to kill the terrorist. Now, they were late 45, uh, 54 seconds, not, not, not 10 minutes and not 77 minutes. That's over an hour. That's crazy while, while this lunatic is shooting innocent people in a school. So if, God forbid, you're, you find yourself in a situation like that, if you're a first responder, if you're a, a concealed carry, in a situation like this, the time factor is the most important thing. You have to rush directly to the, to the attack to the attacker, um, you, it, it, it's, you're basically, your, your security is lower like than the, the principle of going fast. That means um, if you could take a safer route that will take you longer, we teach in the IDF, we teach when we train first responders, is go direct, direct. Of course, you have to use your common sense, but but in a situation like this, you have no time. You have to charge at the terrorists as fast as possible and stop the attack. Now, one of the other things that were happening in this attack, um, the guy in charge there, he was saying, always, he doesn't have, in the beginning, he didn't even have a radio. That's, that's crazy. How could you be in charge of security and you have no radio? Um, and and um, he was saying he doesn't, have, he doesn't have enough people, he doesn't have enough ammo, he doesn't have whatever. Now, let's talk about in the beginning. In the beginning they only had uh, uh, pistols from what I understand. Um, now even if you have a pistol, if God forbid you guys find yourself with a pistol in front of uh, an attacker or a terrorist with the AR-15 or AK-47, there's still what you could do. Of course whoever has the bigger uh, caliber has an advantage, whoever has the automatic weapon it has the advantage, but even if you have a f uh, uh, a firearm, a pistol, uh, you could still create some damage. There was an attack in, in uh, Itamar, in Samaria, um, many, many years ago, around 2001, and this terrorist came into a, a school, a school of like uh, teenagers, um, with the AK-47, he started shooting students. Um, unfortunately, he killed like four students, and then he came to the dorms, all the rooms were like on one side, he started shooting inside the rooms and a security guard, an older guy with a pistol, he sees the terrorist shooting into the rooms. Now he thought he has a, a handgun and he's facing this crazy terrorist with the AK-47. So he, he was smart, he, he went into the room and he was waiting for the terrorist. And basically when the terrorist came right by him, he shot him, he hit him right in the eye, the terrorist shot like a burst of fire and he fell down on the ground and then a first responder came another first responder with the M16 and basically shot a whole magazine into this terrorist head um, my cousins that lived there they told me that that for like a couple of weeks the, the terrorist brain was in the garbage um, so, so even if God forbid you find yourself with a hand with a firearm with a handgun in front of a terrorist with an AK, you still could do uh, serious damage. Um, so these are my thoughts. A really, really hard event. A lot of people are pointing fingers. And, and yeah, I think, of course, whoever was in charge has to, has to take the consequences and, and, um, and take responsibility. Because these 21 innocent lives were, were murdered. And I'm sure a lot of them could be... Be, be saved if if they would get help and first first aid and in, in um, very quickly and unfortunately that didn't happen this when I heard this it it, it shocked me it shocked me because this is uh, uh, against all 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 what we train for all what first responders are all about um, 
And at the end, what I understand is uh, a couple of brave, I think like three brave warriors went in and took this crazy guy out. So I hope we won't have to face these uh, incidents, these attacks. But if we do, we'll manage, them, manage with them the best way and, and with God's help, we'll take them out, take these crazies out as soon as possible. All the best guys, have a great, great, uh, great day, great week. Make sure you guys train, be aware, stay safe and, and uh, be willing to protect yourself and your family um, with God's help if you, God forbid, have to. All the best guys, Moshe Kanika with Krav Maga Fight Tips from Israel. You're welcome to leave your comments down below, share this video so we'll get to more good guys with guns to protect uh, innocent people.